welcome to the stage, Ronnie Green and Zippy! Hello, hi Zippy. Hi there everybody, always very nice to be here. It's your day for, no, what's your name? Uh, 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 oh, of course it's here. Very nice day, it's a good day. Oh, it's a pleasure. I do like her. Do you? Yeah. Do you?
Well, I'm going to say it because that, that was post uh, radio. Really yeah. uh, but if we just uh, let's have a shout out radio over. I don't know, you see, there's a different ages in Was anybody a rainbow watcher when they were kids? Oh my goodness, quite a few. How fabulous. I've got some you. really young people who watch rainbow. That's fantastic. You've got to start on YouTube. Well, I don't know, it was a YouTube great for watching things and old things, but these days, all children's TV is on like its own channels, isn't it? Yeah. You've got to see Beebe's channel and everything. When I was little, you got a little bit of dinner time, and then some before the news and tea time. And that was children's telly. Absolutely. But absolutely amazing telly on dinner time was Rainbow. Oh, I mean, it, it used to get quite a lot of ratings, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was, I think it was, it got very popular. I don't know. I mean, it's very funny. When you're doing a program like that, I mean, I wasn't a face on Rainbow when I filmed it. I was this person. No, this person. But so I wasn't recognised or I didn't know. Little muffin time, Harry. 
this. You can either do a five minute piece for this tradition. There's Jim there, there's Frank Box, there's all the greats in this big church hall in Hampstead uh, in London. And, and a whole lot of new parties who have been born and grown up with the Muppets and wanted to join in as well. Plus a whole lot of older, older ones like me on one side of it. So the younger ones were going, oh no, there's that one in the drawer, who won't get it? And I went, oh no, there's all those youngsters, they'll get it. But anyway, I did a, an improvised little thing with a beaver puppet. All right. And uh, it was sort of like, I can't believe I actually did a mock American accent. Yeah. All these, I just, I thought there's got to be some American so, Oh hello, I'm the beaver. Yeah, I sort of did this silly little voice. And um, somehow they said, you know, don't call us, we'll call you, which is the classic part. And I thought, oh dear, no, I, you know, I haven't got it. Anyway, I left the room, and then about two days later, there's a phone call saying, hello, this is Jimmy Anderson. Uh, company, uh, we'd like to use it as one of the puppeteers. There's an additional puppeteers on the books. Uh, and that was one of the puppeteers that started with David Bowie. We had all the old regular puppeteers. Frank, Dave Coles, um, oh my goodness, all of them, I'm trying to remember everybody's name, but they were doing all the main things. We were, as I say, additional, doing all the goblins in the back, if you remember seeing, you know, when David Bowie was singing with the baby to dance, dance that particular song. That took about three or four days to film, um, and that was, I think, the first one we, we worked on. And then we did all the battle scenes with the, the goblins over the um,
you'll be all right, by the way, sorry. You are all good. Suddenly I can hear myself and I'm wondering whether... Anyway, um, yeah, no, it's a short one. I'm going to say... Muppet Christmas Carol, that was another yes. one, which I love working on. Wonderful, wonderful Michael Caine, who was an absolute joy. Lovely, lovely man. And uh, the scene I remember mostly was at the very end when he brings the turkey into the Cratchit family and there's the table and there's all these other characters sitting at the table. He's at the end of the table. And um, we, we, they do different shots, you know. And then he looked down at me when he looked down for no he said, you all right, Ed? Do you know, I never look at you, I always look at the puppets. No. And it's really, he was just lovely down to earth. You know, no. so I think the big stars are the wonderful, usually they, you know, they've been in the middle. Well, I'm always sleeping in past home. Please do. I'm enjoying that. I'm, I'm with Rob Green. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm but, dropping uh, Tell us about Tom Hanks. Oh, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Sorry, I'm dropping a big name. Um, this was the last film I worked on, um, which is Pinocchio for Disney, and it's the live action one. And um, I did a tiny bit on Beauty and the Beast, the live action version on that. And I got a phone call just during, just after the worst COVID outbreak. And they said, oh, would you be interested in doing a, you know, another Disney film? They wouldn't tell me what it was until I'd signed the NDA. No, you're not allowed to say anything about it until the film is on. Anyway, um, I signed that quickly. They said, well, you'll be working with Tom Hanks and Geppetto, and you'll be working the early part, the Pinocchio part. Well, I couldn't say no to that. And um, they sent a car for me, which was wonderful. I thought, oh, hell, my head got bigger and bigger. Um, he came for nine days on the film, and we did all his Geppetto bits, and then he shot off to do another film, but he was absolutely, he's as nice as he sounds like on the park he shows, he's very down to earth, not at all, I mean, he's professionally new, you know, he knows what his business to do, but he, he was just really friendly, and I felt like I could sell him my book, I said, you know, it was so funny, he came into the props room, and he said, oh, where's Wiley, I said, I'm over here, let's go. He doesn't mind holding props, he's quite good on all that. You know, some actors go quite up and see lines and hold props as well. But anyway, um, he, um, he was good on that. But then I, I, he said, how long have you been in the business? And I thought, oh God. So I carried on talking. And in the end I said, well, I've got a book if you're interested. And all the props guys are sitting there, I went, oh God, you're talking to me. He won't buy a book. Anyway, it was really lovely. I mean, really down to I just thought I could say anything to him. So, no, that was lovely. And I was on it for about two months, which was wonderful. Teaching another um, actress who was in it, who played a ballerina in the film. Um, and I had to teach her how to work the puppet. Although, actually, most of the puppets, after the workshop scene, it was, uh, they were all CGI'd after that. But done quite well, you know. I mean, it looks quite nice. It's got mixed reviews, as well. Of course, I used to enjoy watching the movie Dinner Town when I was uh, younger. Uh, uh, 
very glad you like what you mean. Uh, I wish I could say to my, all my friends, it's fantastic being at the Hull Comic Con. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was, uh, I was watching telly uh, last year, and they were on Friday night, and you were on the last leg. I was on the last leg. Which is quite a cutting, you know, quite it, a cutting uh, it's, comedy show. It's for adults. It is, yeah. And they got sipping on. Yeah, do you know who was on it? It was the lady Doctor Who, Jodie. Wasn't it? Yeah, and she wanted a picture of me. Yeah, she did. All the icons in one room. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, it was very lovely. Actually, uh, Dippy, can I just say that I was asked it's the second time I've been on it. They love Zippy on there. They say, uh, what's his name? Josh Whittaker. Uh, Josh Whittaker. They say he sounds a bit like Zippy. So he was a surprise guest. Josh was on it, chatting away. And I popped up with Zippy. And said, oh, hello, Josh. And the, and the, and the other guys uh, say things like, oh, you know, you uh, you sound like you don't, and Josh sounds like you. He's oh, I don't sound like him. Who's Josh? I mean, he was in his big room. But they loved it. Yeah. Got me on again. Did you wear, you've been on, have you been on, have you wear with Keith Lemon? Yes. He's rude. Amazing. He knows all the background. I, I forget you know, you don't know. Anyway, the other way. Anyway, no, uh, yes, Keith Lemon, that was uh, his that funny program he did. Celebrity Juice. Celebrity Juice, yeah. that's right. And I appeared, I think, I think, I remember that in Nocturne the Wind, that Sydney popped out as a surprise and everyone goes, yeah, it was Sydney, you know. And I can't remember doing very much of it. He's, he's lovely, he's not quite as bad as he sounds again in front of the cameras, but he's very clever, very quick with yeah. really good. Yeah. And I don't know if I, I don't know if the boy was there. Were you always through a puppet version of Bohemian Rhapsody? Oh my goodness me, you're absolutely yeah. right, there was. And I'm trying to remember, that was... It was Sydney Drop, was it with... Um, was it with... Was it with Peter Kerr or something like that? We did a... Peter Kerr did do a song with all the lot yeah, of with those TV yeah. characters. Ah, oh, he it? did, that was the red... That was the red nose, that was just the knee. Yeah. We did that a few years ago. Oh, right.
Uh, anyway, um, well, what I mean is, you know, if he gets to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. We don't want a monkey sauce in here. But uh, with Muffin, I mean, in the old days, there wasn't video reports and they did them live. So Muffin would go off. And that Mills, Mr. John Mills, is it people remember the actor John Mills? That was, uh, he was, uh, she was his uh, sister. She played the piano. She played the piano. She played the piano. She played the piano. Muffin would go off. And then he would come on wearing a different costume. Well, they think he would done the wind change when he was a Muffin. Identical as well. So that's how he did all the changes. But I ended up doing Muffin for real. Um, for that pet, uh, and then I borrow uh, Muffin, in fact I've got him at my house in London at the moment, I do these lovely old people's phones, you know I go wrong, I do my chat like I'm doing now, if you want to fall asleep I do apologise, because I do talk for England, Scotland and Wales, um, and uh, basically um, they remember, you know, these lovely old people, and I work a puppet, and uh, they all sing the song, and here comes Muffin, Dear old Muffin playing. Here comes Muffin, everybody sing. Here comes Muffin. Anyway, so and they are ever so sweet. And even if they fall asleep, they wake up and love it. comes on, which is really nice. But I love doing doing that so I mean incredibly lovely I'm working Muffin, Sooty Sweet, Zippy, and lots of other stuff that I can't remember.